Judgment is a spin-off game from the Yakuza series. This time around, the protagonist is actually not a Yakuza himself, but a lawyer turned private eye by the name of Tak Yagami, who runs his detective agency in Kamurocho, a place that Yakuza players should be familiar with. His right-hand man is an ex-Yakuza named Kaito, and together, they take on any case they can get their hands on trying to make a living. Tak acts as the brain and Kaito as the muscle of the operation. One thing they have in common is their respect for Matsugane-san, patriarch of the Matsugane family, one of the Yakuza factions running Kamurocho's underworld and subsidiary of the Tojo clan known from the other games of the series. Matsugane acts as a foster father to both Yagami and Kaito, and was actually the one who funded Yagami's lawyer studies. As Tak is soon to learn though, Matsugane kind of lost control over his family and now his captain, Hamura, is actually the one giving orders and running wild. As dead bodies of rival Yakuza start turning up in Kamurocho, the police suspect them being the victims of an ongoing turf war, but Tak is sure that there is more to it and makes it his mission to find out the truth, thinking it could be connected to one of his prior trials that made him quit his job as a lawyer. This is when he goes down the rabbit hole to uncover horrifying secrets about the case. If you've played any Yakuza game, you probably know that they offer tons of content. You can play various mini games such as baseball, darts, arcades, drone races and in this case even dating. Various new items and combat moves can be unlocked through funding quick starter projects from your phone and gaining experience and money from completing a variety of side missions, like detective cases that you stumble upon during your playthrough. You meet tons of mysterious characters whom you can help out and make new friends. Most cases consist of tailing suspects, gathering clues and presenting the right evidence in conversations. Judgment brings some fresh breath to the table and offers some enjoyable gameplay aspects. You can complete most of the game in around 20 to 25 hours, which is actually a decent length that makes sure the game doesn't become boring over time. But of course, you can sink in many more hours if you seek to complete all the activities. Activities. The game looks great on PS5 and it runs smoothly at 60 FPS. I didn't run into any glitches or bugs during my playthrough. The character models look especially good, while the environment is decent enough, even if it looks a bit outdated. Fighting is really smooth and the more moves you unlock, the more exciting it gets. Some fights can even be a bit tough if you don't stock up on healing items before going into them, but once you have your combos down, you can blast through most enemies. All in all, this game really gripped me in and I'm looking forward to playing the sequel Lost Judgment, which I will surely make a video on as well once I'm done. If this video piqued your interest, I strongly recommend recommend you to grab the game, which is free for PS Plus members by the way, and tell me about your experience. If you've played it already, why not tell me what you liked most about it in the comments down below. Anyway, I hope you like my new quickscope series which allows me to produce more videos and cover the most important aspects of the game without major spoilers, and I hope to see you again for the next chaotic good video.